First of all, some basic physics. When you rotate a system or a wheel, you want it balanced because that's the most energy efficient way to do it. If it's not balanced, you're going to be wasting a lot of energy. This system is also balanced when you rotate it. At first glance, it may not seem balanced, but it is. If the weights on these arms are allowed to swing freely at these pivot points, this wheel is balanced as it rotates. The weight of these pendulums is right here on the wheel. Now this is a system that is not balanced. The arms are fixed rigidly to the rim of the wheel. The wheel is rotated. They become arranged like this. And you can see how unbalanced that system is. This is very ine energy inefficient way to rotate some. You're wasting a lot of energy trying to rotate a system like this. Now when you rotate a wheel with freely hanging pendulums, the pendulums will swing outward at this point, outward down here or up here. These pendulums in this position, they'll rock a little, but basically they hang downwards. It's the change in direction here that causes the pendulums to swing out. The change of direction here causes the pendulum to swing outward. There's a lot of force in this pendulum swinging out. This gives a certain amount of impulse that adds to the rotation of the wheel. This pendulum swinging out impulse, the impulse here. But I found that this impulse was never enough by itself to keep the wheel rotating. So I took this basic idea and I changed it into my gravity wheel P2. This is a simplified drawing of gravity wheel P2. As the arm rotated, the swinging pendulum caused a, sh a little arm to shoot upward at this point. And the swinging pendulum down here caused the little arm to shoot upward at this point. This made this side heavier and this side lighter. This shows the arm in the horizontal position. This is the heavier end because the little arm sticks out. And this is the lighter arm because the little arm is retracted. So it rotates this way. And when it's in the horizontal position, these pendulums do not move much. They swing back and forth a little. This is a simplified drawing of my pendulum mechanism on my gravity wheel P2. This is 25 pounds of weight. And here are the gear teeth, five gear teeth on the big wheel. The little green wheel is the other gear wheel in the system. There are only two gear wheels, the large one and the little one. Now, the teeth don't go all the way around the wheel. It's, it's a wheel shape for support reasons, structural support reasons. This wheel could be just as well shaped like this. Now, this is the apparatus with jointed arms that this turns and the arms will move in and out. This is not a gear wheel. This is just a, a large wheel for support. This wheel goes on this green shaft here. The turning of this little gear wheel turns this. When I say this is not a gear wheel, that means that this wheel turns at the same speed as this little wheel. Now the purpose of the little gear wheel is to speed up the rotation of this wheel. The pendulum moves with more power, but it moves slowly. I want this wheel to turn very quickly, and that's the purpose of the small gear. The large wheel turns slowly, the small gear turns fast, and that turns this fast. That makes this arm go in and out quickly. Now, it only has gear, a few gears in two places on the wheel like this, I don't want this wheel to constantly be turning. I only want the small gear wheel to turn when this arm is in this upward position as it rotates on the main arm or when it's in this position. Then I want it to rotate, I want this small gear to rotate this wheel, 
This causes the arm to go up. The red indicates the one pound weight at the end of the arm. This one pound weight is retracted or extended uh, about a foot and a half. When I want the side of the main arm to be heavier, it is extended a foot and a half. When I want the side of the main arm to become lighter, this is retracted a foot and a half. Now also on my uh, gravity wheel P2, there is a second pendulum. Uh, that's just to increase the overall weight of the pendulum. I didn't add it here for simplicity's sake. The other pendulum, weighted pendulum, is attached to this shaft here too. That's Having two pendulums is like uh, increasing the weight of this one pendulum, but I found it was easier uh, to have two pendulums instead of putting all the weight on one pendulum. Now, it may be a little hard to understand when you first hear it. As the main arm, this, is, this assembly is attached to, as the main arm rotates completely around, this pendulum basically remains pointing downward. It rocks back and forth, but it basically remains pointing downward. It, this wheel will rotate completely around, though, in, re, in regards to the little gear wheel. What you have to do is concentrate on the, the relationship of the red arrows. You see how the arrows line up this way? Now the arrows do not change on the main arm, the direction of the arrows. But you notice as it rotates around, the relationship between the arrows change. You see that? The arrow is always pointing at the same spot on the wheel. But that spot changes in re relationship to the main arm. You see how the, the arrows are changing? This is the same spot on the wheel as over here. But you can see how the relationship between that spot on the wheel and the main arm keeps changing. You see that? How it's changed again. This is the same spot on the wheel here, but the relationship between the two arrows has changed. That's how the pendulum wheel, in effect, rotates completely around while at the same time always remaining hanging downward. That's how this large pendulum wheel turns the little green gear wheel. Now the goal was to have the arm self-turning. That is the action of the pendulums and the little arm going in and out would cause the arm to keep turning and then I would hook it up to an electrical generator at the center. A gear on the main arm would turn and then that would turn the gear on an electrical generator attached to a stationary post. That was the goal. But I never hooked up the electrical generator because I could never get this to keep self-turning well enough. 